We will also today be learning about a new society, uh, a society which these people are hoping to form for people with hemochromatosis. familiar, but I can't say that I've heard of it. Nope. Definitely not. Uh, never. No, I haven't. No. Hereditary hemochromatosis is a genetic condition that causes the body to overload in iron. It's a malfunction of something in my system which is handed down through the, my fathers and ge the generations before me. Mm -hmm. yes. And uh, this uh, malfunction, it's apparently somewhere in the bowel, uh, allows me to ingest all the iron that I eat. Most people take the iron they need and oh, the rest is discarded. Yes, yes. Now I take it all in. I'm a man of iron. Are you a man of iron? <laughs> I'm really glad that you're doing something like this because every bit helps. Death is not the answer. It's the terrible suffering that bothers me. Some of the mild symptoms for uh, hemochromatosis include uh, chronic fatigue, uh, loss of uh, oh. libido, uh, loss of body hair, abdominal pain and distension where some of the more serious uh, diseases would be arthritis, diabetes, uh, uh, type 2, uh, heart uh, failure and uh, liver disease that could uh, turn into cancer. I feel like uh, that would really suck. It seems very Debilitating. Well, I'd like to learn more about it because I am diabetic. I became diabetic about 10 years ago. months mm -hmm. and um, if it hadn't have been for Marie's uh, intensive research and her uh, determination I would have been gone about we, when they did diagnose the hemochromatosis they gave me 12 weeks hemochromatosis is the most common genetic disorder but it's also the only one where you can prevent the terrible complications by early diagnosis and treatment. I was in constant pain all the time, for years. It literally for years. Just kept on building up and building up. So. For years, Nay's doctor thought it was a bad case of arthritis. But then Nay's got lucky. He got a bleeding ulcer. We were about to transfuse him because his blood was way down. He said, no, I felt better than I have for years. So then we, <laughs> then we started doing a few more tests on him and the penny finally dropped. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the treatment is simple. In fact, it dates back to the Middle Ages. Old-fashioned bloodletting. Once a week, Nate gives up a pint of blood. That removes the excess iron. I worked as a hospital chaplain. I, I saw doctors and heard doctors make wrong diagnoses. And I dared not say a thing. But in the Victorian age, the ladies dropped their hankies to draw the attention of young men. I dropped pamphlets. And that's very dangerous. People 
must not eat iron fortified fruit food unless they are really have been diagnosed as being iron deficient. are still many doctors who never see one man said to me I've never seen a case and I don't expect to do so and one time when I wrote to him he said it was only a question in an examination paper it's hard to convince anybody else that that's true they can't feel the pain they can't uh, see the symptoms and so on we're for many organizations including the Salvation Army in Canada and uh, and poverty organizations in general, including the Harvest Project on the North Shore of Vancouver. Um, in all of these organizations, the, the uh, clients who were participating in these organizations were often referred to people as lost causes, uh, people who couldn't be helped. Uh, well, uh, the, the hemochromatosis is something that pretty much hasn't been found uh, people, it's underdiagnosed, it's undertreated. Uh, people uh, don't know that they have the condition, and therefore the suffering continues. I heard an advertisement today on TV about uh, some other disease being Canada's most common genetic disorder, and they said one in a thousand. I guess it's not one of those medical conditions that, that are uh, sexy or popular, it doesn't have its own telethon, etc, etc. There's five typical scenarios with hemochromatosis. If uh, the average lifespan of a person is about uh, 78 to 81 years of age, depending upon their gender, and if a person is diagnosed at age 20, they're going to live a long life without hemochromatosis. But if they're diagnosed at 40 years of age, their lifespan will be reduced to about 70. If a person is diagnosed at 60, they could pass away at 65. And often, people who are totally undiagnosed die of heart failure or liver cancer or some crippling uh, disease at 60 years of age or younger. You know, maybe some of my family members that that are sick or have, have passed away, maybe you know that could have been associated with it. It's strange that if it's so common that no one would have heard about it. Maybe I should go get tested. I would hate, I mean, I would hate to find out that a member of my family at that age would be diagnosed with a terrible disease. I'd just like to know more about it. How can I find out more about it? It, aff it affects so much that it's, it's such a serious when you think all they need is a diagnosis and as I've said before it is a one genetic disorder it is the most common genetic disorder but it's also the only one of which all the terrible complications can be prevented by early diagnosis and treatment. If we can help save a life that makes any one of us that work in this office or volunteer in this organization across the country extremely happy that someone else has the chance of living a life that uh, isn't affected by hemochromatosis.